With Horizon Forbidden West set to release this Friday, hype and excitement around the game has been growing by the day. For the most part, Horizon has been receiving some amazing reviews and it is easy to see why. From my side, based on nothing but the trailers and the gameplay that I saw online, the game does look like a visual masterpiece and is a serious contender for Game of the Year unless God of War has something to say about that. Now, not every single review has been great. There has been some who gave it a bit of a lower score and since consoles at this point is nothing more than a team sport those reviews were obviously very quickly dismissed overall the game is running at native 4k and will be playable at 30 frames per second the favorite performance mode will be 1800p at 30 frames per second this is a strange resolution but it does look interesting nonetheless hopefully in the future they can also add a 1080p mode that will run at 120 frames per second for those who prefer frame rate over resolution. Then it is official Call of Duty Warzone will be getting a sequel. Activision announced the news by stating that it will be developed together with the 2019 Modern Warfare sequel. Both these games will be developed by Infinity Ward who probably had the most success when it comes to the more recent Call of Duty games. They also announced that they will be using a brand new engine for the development process. Warzone is probably the most successful game within the series, at least in terms of revenue so it is very obvious that they were going to make a brand new one although the official date has not been set yet it will most likely be somewhere in 2023 right now there is a bunch of things going on with season 2 of vanguard call of duty 2022 and of course a brand new sequel you throw in a massive acquisition and you might understand why the next few years will be very hectic for activision hopefully none of the games suffer then it is no no secret that when Cyberpunk 2077 launched, it brought with it a massive amount of problems, specifically on the last generation of consoles. Although I hold my opinion that the game was great in terms of story, at least in my opinion, the bugs cannot be ignored, especially on the last gen consoles. Since then, it looks like they have been working really hard on the game, and now CD Projekt Red is announcing once more that a massive new patch is going to be released. This new patch will aim to fix some of the biggest issue within the game like positioning, reloading, equipping weapons, dodging, blocking and many others as well. They also announced that the current gen Xbox series and PlayStation 5 versions of the game is finally here which means that it will now be playable in a proper 4K mode. 4K mode was previously available on the Xbox One X and PlayStation 4 Pro as well although it was only through backwards compatibility on current gen consoles but this new version will come with many visual improvements. Then FIFA 2022 also received an update for the PC version of the game that will be addressing some of its problems. Those fixes and changes will bring improvements to both career mode and ultimate team but there will also be a few fixes for the broader game as well. They will be addressing rare situations when shooting after a skill move. The shot would not be as accurate as intended. If the right stick switching option was set to player rotation, a right stick player switch could not be done after activating player lock. In some cases sliding tackles could be incorrectly called as a foul depending on which area of the defender's body made the contact with the ball. Following the activation of player lock with the input being performed at an angle, the first player switch would not occur and had to be performed again. Those are some of the changes that you can be looking forward to for this update. Then lastly, League of Legends will be adding a bunch of B-themed skins to the games for different champions. As per comic book, four new skins will be added for four champions who will join the colony soon whenever their skins are released in the live game. For now, they are being added to the PBE servers for players to test out before they are available for purchase. These are not the first B-themed skins that has been added to the game. There has been many that predate these and now it seems that they are adding on those previous skins. After after Riot Games made the announcement, they also released a bunch of splash art to showcase some of what you will be receiving. Again, these skins are currently available on the PBE servers and will be open for purchase to everybody soon.